In this video, we'll take a look at some of the uh, geography uh, search features in uh, version 11. So you can see here that we have a grid that is based on uh, SQL Server. It's a da database that has all of the airports and heliports in the United States. And for each, uh, for each record, there's a location field that contains the uh, uh, location of the airport. Um, location is a special SQL Server. Uh, field type, um, Oracle, MySQL, DB2 also support uh, geography field types. Um, and we've also got a latitude and longitude which is derived from the location field. So you can see here that all 6,000 rows uh, are in the current query. And we also have a uh, search part uh, uh, on this grid. And if you look here, you can see that the location field is configured as a map. So we did that by going to um, the, uh, s the search field over here. You can see here's my uh, search part over here. So, um, and I've got the location field on the search part and I've set the, um, the control type um, f to map. So um, the default control type, of course, on a uh, search part is uh, text box. But now I've gone ahead and said uh, display it as a map and when I bring up the uh, smart field here, I can set the map properties. So we've said that the user can do two types of searches, um, uh, which I'll explain later on, um, polygon radius and polygon uh, and radius searches, and that the initial search type should be a polygon. And then we've said that the map size is 700 by 400, and it's initially centered on Chicago with a zoom factor of 9, so that um, the zoom factor can go between 0 and 20. And then there's a bunch of other uh, formatting options um, that you can uh, go ahead and do. So now let's uh, run this grid again. And um, you can see now here's my, my grid uh, with the 6,000 records in the current query. And now let's say I'd like to find all of the airports in the Chicago area that fall within this polygon, which I'm going to mark uh, on the map. So I can go there and uh, mark out a polygon. I could pick up any of these points and then uh, move them if I want. And then hit the uh, search button. And you can see now that basically um, there are 16 records uh, in, in the search. And uh, if I just uh, make this window a little bit smaller, you can see I've turned on uh, the debugging mode to actually show you the query that Alpha 5 exercised against the uh, SQL backends. And so if you look at the query carefully, you can see that the portable SQL that got generated here is using um, geography functions. So there's a portable SQL function for doing a uh, geography search, which is uh, uh, geog location is within polygon. So this was an example of a um, polygon search. So let's go ahead now and um, uh, clear my search criteria. And now let's change from a polygon search to a radius search. And uh, we start out by default with, say, a, uh, a 10 mile radius over here. Let's go and change that to, say, a 5 mile radius. Click the uh, Set button and then go ahead now and do Search. So when I run the search, there are no records. There are no airports within 5 miles of uh, Chicago city center. So let's go ahead now and change that to, say, 10 miles. And now uh, do our search now. And uh, now there are two airports within 10 mile radius of the Chicago city center. But I can go and pick up my uh, center point and move that over there. And now run it again. And let's see if we get a different result. Now there are five records within uh, uh, 10 miles of that location over there. Now let's say I'd like to uh, move the center of my map, say, from Chicago to Boston. So I'm going to go there now and click on the uh, center. Uh, button and now let's pause it and pick it up in the uh, next video.